Hi everybody, this is the first technical video of the series and right away it's kind of a weird one because I realized that this video may not be really relevant to a lot of my viewers but I hope that it's going to be interesting all the same and if you are into these kind of things that it's helpful to you. So what am I here to talk about? It's this machine right here. What this is, is the prototype for the hand clap, the THC01 from Darkstar Music. And this is an analog clap based on the TR808 from Roland. And for those of you who don't know, the TR808 and 909 from Roland are two classic drum computers um, from the 80s. And they have shaped dance music into what it is today. And even hip hop and nowadays trap all kinds of stuff relies on sound from the 808 and the 909. So, what is this? This is a Eurorack kick drum from Dykestar, which is a TK09. It's a recreation of the kick drum from the 909. And this is the new THC01. You can't see it from the front panel yet because the prototype uses the same front panel as the kick drum. But this is actually the hand clap, a remodeling of the 808 hand clap except with extra controls and a lot more extra possibilities. So this is 100% analog. That's a point right away because these classic drum computers are still used a lot in dance music, also in hardcore techno. And while some sounds have been recreated really well digitally in software, some sounds just are not the same. And two of them being, for instance, the snare drum from the 909 that we still hear a lot in hardcore music. But also the clap, for instance this 808 clap, because I found out that an analog clap just makes a little difference to the character, it just feels more real, feels more, I don't know, it just has more charm to it and it's more natural. For instance, if you want to make a stereo clap, I've recorded clap VSTs and panned them left, right, and you get a weird kind of phasing because actually they're re-triggering the same sample over and over again. And it's really static and if you if you have two layers going at the same time, you actually hear this nasty phasing sound. I've tried it out with this machine right here and pure analog bliss, wide stereo, beautiful clap. So this here is the prototype that was actually lent to me by Dykesar. It's not done yet. This is actually uh, on Kickstarter right now. And the idea is that if it gets fully financed that he will run a production of these Eurorack modules and you can buy them yourself. I actually asked Dykestar if I could make this video about this module because I am supporting uh, this Kickstarter and I really want this module to be finalized because I need this for my music. So I suggest if you think this sounds interesting at the end of the video and if you watch his demos and read the info that you will consider also supporting this Kickstarter so we can make this a real thing. So. Let's have a close look. So here's the THC01 hooked up to some very basic triggering. I have Renoise going into my Eurorack through the Dupfer A192. So let's check out some of the basic functions. The first knob we have is the speed knob and what this does is slow down or speed up the amount of time between the different triggers of a single clap. A clap sound is built up of different hits shortly after one another and changing the speed means you can go from a slow progression of clicks to a really fast rattle. So here we go. Next knob downwards is the repeat knob. This knob changes the amount of actual hits that form the clap sound, going from one to, I think, about four or five. Let's check it out.
If you combine that with the speed, you can really hear the difference. The next one down is the decay. We have a tune. Fairly straightforward. We have a knob to control the ambience. The next one is the release. As you can hear, the decay, ambient and release work together so you can really tune the sound to your liking. For instance, this sound has a lot of decay but it's very dry. Now if I close the decay, but make it wetter, you'll hear the difference. Opening the release. Everything wide open. As you can hear, there's a whole range of sounds you can make with just this module and um, with no external control voltages going into it as of yet. However, there's even more to be done with this module because we have a flip switch to control the repeat and that actually has a very strange effect. So instead of triggering the clap, it actually just keeps repeating. Of course we also have a level knob. 